Hi friends, today we will discuss how to open FCNR deposits. What is FCNR? Foreign Currency Non-Resident Account. These can be opened by non-resident Indians and overseas corporate bodies with any bank in India that has authorized dealer license. So the banks having authorized dealer license can open FCNR deposits. So FCNR deposits will be opened by non-resident Indians or overseas corporate bodies only. The foreign currency non-resident B scheme was introduced with effect from May 15th, 1993. So previously it was FCNRA from May 15th, 1993 they introduced latest version with FCNR B. What is the maximum period you can put your money in FCNR deposits? Right now it is 5 years. So fixed deposit maximum period of 5 years you can invest in FCNR deposits. Term deposit received by the bank for a fixed period and withdrawable only after the expiry. The said fixed period and includes reinvestment deposits and cash certificates or other deposits of similar value. So FCNR deposits can be taken received with a fixed period and withdrawable after the expiry after maturity you can withdraw. You can go for the reinvestment of so invest reinvestment will be interest will be created to your account also. What is permitted currency for FCNR deposits? So FCNR deposits accepted in these currencies only pound sterling us dollar dutch mark and japanese yen canadian dollar australian dollar so these are only permitted currency a foreign currency which is freely convertible is called permitted currency so all fcnr deposits will be in these currencies only Previously, we had discussed NRE, NRO accounts, it will be in Indian currency, but FCNR deposits will be in these currency only. Conversion. The account holder does not incur exchange loss in first converting foreign currency into rupee while depositing the money and then reconverting the rupee into foreign currency when he wants to take the money back. So, you have received a NRI amount in US dollar to invest in fixed deposit. So from first it will be converted from USD to INR and on maturity INR to USD. So these whatever the charges are exchange loss customer is not responsible. This is purely on bank or financial institution accepting these FCNR deposits. So, when customer gives, it should be taken from these currencies only and when you are repaying also, you have to give it in this currency only. This exchange loss should be borne by the bank only. Interest rate. You have fixed rate and you have floating rate. Floating rate will be reset for 6 months. So, every 6 months, your a rate will be reset means every six months your rate can be changed or it can be same fixed you have fixed also and floating floating with a rest reset period of six months so every six months it will be keep on changing ceiling rate in respect of fcnrb deposits for the respective currency maturity LIBOR, swap rate plus 200 bar 300 basis point so for these deposits you can go for the LIBOR rate or swap rate with extra of 200 or 300 basis point means 0.2 or 0.3 percent. LIBOR and swap. What is LIBOR? London Interbank Offered Rate. This is a floating rate. Swap is a fixed rate. The deposits will have to bring in money into the account through a remittance from abroad or through a transfer from another FCNR NRE account only. So, to deposit FCNR, you have to get a remittance 
from abroad or you can transfer money from other FCNR or other NRE account only. Repatriation of funds in foreign currency is permitted. Yes, after maturity it can be repatriation to the original country permitted. If the money is not in the designated foreign currency, so we have discussed these FCNR should be comes through pound, US dollar, Japanese and if it is other than these currencies then the customer will have to bear the cost of conversion into the designated currency. On maturity he can freely re repatriable the principal and interest which he will receive in the designated currency that he can convert into any other currency at his cost. So if you get the money in these currencies on maturity bank will give in these currencies only. If you are getting money other than the in currencies so you have to bear the customer has to bear the cost while connecting other currencies to permitted currency on maturity also will give in the permitted currency only from current permitted currency he has to convert into his own currency as at his cost only so bank will not bear interest earned on these fixed deposit is exempted from tax so no tax on interest paid on FCNR deposits. What are the schemes available? One year and above, less than two years, two years and above, less than three years, three years and above, less than four years, four years and above, less than five years and five years only. So these schemes are available for FCNR deposit. Recurring deposit should not be accepted under FCNRB. So recurring deposit means every month 10,000, every month 5,000. These deposits are not accepted. Transfer. Transfer of funds from existing NRE account to FCNR accounts and vice versa. From FCNR to NRE, NRE to FCNR. Of the same account holder, for the same account holder is permissible without the prior approval of RBI. To transfer money from FCNR to NRE, NRE to FCNRE for the same account holder is permissible. You can do it. Interest rate. Asset Liability Management Committee to fix the interest rates on FCNR deposits subject to reporting to the board immediately thereafter. So banks, whenever they will accept the fix FCNR deposits, Asset Liability Management will fix the interest rate and these FCNR deposits should be informed to the board of directors. Interest should be paid on the basis of 360 days to a one year. See, normally we will consider if it is a normal year 365 days, if it is a leap year it is 366 days but as FCNR deposit will calculate as 360 days to a year only. Calculated and paid interest should be intervals of 180 days each. So, if customer wants interest payout, so every six months interest will be calculated and paid to the customer. Another option, interest can be paid on maturity. Both are available. Premature, yes, allowed. Penalty for such premature withdrawal at bank discretion. Okay, whether bank wants to penalty 1% or not, premature is allowed. allowed. While well, premature bank wants to charge penalty as per their discretion. It can be changed from one bank to another bank. Before completion of the minimum period of one year, no interest is payable. So even though you are going for premature, interest should be period of the deposit should run for minimum one year. Then only you are eligible for interest. Conversion of FCNRB deposits into the NRE deposits or vice versa before maturity should be subject to the penal provision relating to the premature withdrawal. Yes, before maturity you want to transfer from FCNR to NRE or NRE to FCNR is permissible with the condition. Overdue deposit, overdue interest, are you paying any overdue in interest on the matured deposits. Deposit is matured and you have not received any instructions. 
overdue deposit yes overdue interest is paid only for 14 days renew on overdue deposit does not exceed 14 days so for example on first your deposit is matured then on or before 14th it should be renewed with backdated if it is more than 14 days they will not renew backdated so you will not get backdated interest if it is more than 14 days loan yes allowed so if when you open a fcnr deposit loan can be taken on these deposits this is depositor yes if fcnr deposit owner expires interest will be paid up to maturity date or if nominee is interested he can pre close and take out the money thank you friends if you like my video please subscribe and share with your friends also